Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Aus and this is episode 24 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. We're playing Angels Mods. This is the current state of the Angels Mod base. This is a combined tutorial and Let's Play and also a Let's Design. Let's make some cool designs and make them fit within a city block. Like this. And this. This is a, a quite pink. Not sure I like the pinkness of this, but whatever. We, it is what it is. Ah, you can see how the iron is being consumed quite a lot more than... What about here? No, they're both topped up, so no problem. Alright, so what we're going to be building today is looking at iron and steel. At least iron, but maybe if we're fast and I don't uh, make too many mistakes, we can also take a look at steel. Okay, so what we've been doing first was the refining, angels refining. Then we moved into the angel smelting last time where we converted the ore to ingots and now the step we'll be looking at the casting where we take the ingots and convert it into actual plates so there are five different recipes for iron the basic one where we take iron ingots in and become iron iron molten iron out or the one we're going to use with combining iron and manganese since we have an equal amount of iron and manganese this seems like the, the most appropriate way of doing it and it'll generate a lot of iron then we have combined with silicon. I do not recommend using it. Silicon is quite precious and used for very many things once you start going into uh, to electronics and modules. So I would not recommend use this one. And molten iron from cobalt and nickel. Nickel is a tier two and cobalt is a tier three. That means it's much more difficult things to make while iron is tier one. So why would you ever want to make tier one by using supplementing with tier three items? Don't know, don't think so. I think it's a bit of a trap. This is the same chrome, especially because chrome is nigh impossible to get. So that's when we get into molten iron. I'll be using this one. I recommend using this one because it's so easy to make. Now, then once I have the molten, I have several different options. I can either make it directly into plates, 40 molten iron becomes one for iron plates, i.e. 10 molten iron becomes one plate and Alternatively, we can also add some water and make it into sheet coils. Sheet coils has the advantage, if we look at this one, the sheet coil is a compression. It doesn't give any productivity gain, but it gives compression. Meaning that you can store four iron in one coil and it's easy to, uh, to get out because you can see here it uses normal machines and with the loader attached, you can actually generate quite a lot. And it's just a lot easier to transport around like on belts, and with robots especially. Uh, so that's uh, for compression purposes. There is also an additional recipe here where if you add coolant, then you are getting a slight productivity gain. It's about 10, 15% productivity gain. But you can see here, it should be 160 molten iron to six iron coils, but it's actually only 40, 140. However, this requires coolant and coolant is something that requires base mineral oil that I do not have yet. So until I have base mineral oil, that is not an option. And therefore we are going to build it. Basically, I'm going to build it from south and upwards, just uh, because I want the belts flowing upwards. Now, this is taking the induction furnace. It The recipe is 12 iron ingots per four seconds. So that's three per second. This machine is PV 1.5. Unfortunately, I am not able to take make this in speed uh, in, in Mark II, so I have to suffice with Mark I. The reason why I can't make it in Mark II is because that requires brass and concrete bricks and aluminum plates. Not something I have right now, unfortunately. So I need to be careful here as well. So this one is outputting 60 per second times the crafting speed of 1.5, so it's 90 per second. And I need to consume 90 per second. I'm going to use this recipe. This is only consuming 20 per second. Wow, 20 per second. So I need four, that's 80. What if I do this? So this is now going to be 120. And that means I need nine here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we look at the output of this, it's actually only outputting one every two seconds. So it's easily able to keep up. 
Now this will then consume six of each times one and a half, nine of each. So if I have two belts of each and this one consumes nine, two belts is, it's a bit more than 50. So I have nine, one more, that's 18, 27, 36, 41, 42, and yeah, whatever. There, something like one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what we're gonna need. We need six of them. However, I think I can. I should be able to do something like this. Uh... Hmm. What if that's 12? Yep, that's exactly what we need. And then I built for each two of them, I need one lane out. So basically I want a belt and then I want, how close? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, whatever. Something along this line. And that will then consume these six, these four. And then I can replicate it. Because the advantage of making it like this is that I can use my belts. Nope, like this. This is uh, this is then the easiest. And with twelve of them, I can take six one way and six the other way. That means I'll take bend you that way, you that way, and. Yeah, okay. Something like this. They go one way, they go the other way, and at six of them. I think that's the correct way of doing it. It would be an interesting way. All right, so. Six, I kind of don't like this. Feel that it would be nicer if there was a space in between and there's also space out here no that doesn't look good actually all right and we are just placing these here we'll get iron mark 2 like this and i guess i need more That's the easiest way to get it out of the inventory. Otherwise, uh, look, me looking at that giant inventory and finding something unlikely. And this is exactly what I need. So now I can build one full setup. Okay. I think they need to be mixed, though I don't know why they would want to actually. This should be fine. And uh, some underground belts or some underground pipes. Okay, I only need one. Basically only need to make number two uh, because that's gonna be my main one. Although, there is something about this. If I slide it up by one, then I can take my water. I could take water like this 
and then only take water on that side. That would be awesome, and I don't need much water. That's definitely what we're gonna do. Okay, so already the recipe gets more advanced, like here. And eventually when I get the next one, I'll need to redo the whole thing because the reason why I have to redo the whole thing next time is simply because the ratio is very different. If I look at it, this one is consuming 20 per second. But if I use the coolant here, it is now consuming 70 per second. Very big difference. So the whole thing needs to be changed anyway. And again, some minor outputs here load it here to here i think we just go upwards excellent and i suppose what about taking here and a light on the other side i think that's going to be a nice unit for us not that, not that. Let's try it. Boom. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more. And then rounding it off some nicely. Uh, like this. This, this, and the water. Now we need to figure out how much water. This takes 10 water per second, and that is 10 water per second. And I have 18. Yes. 18, so that's 180 per second. That means if I look at my... Water supply. You are producing 100 per second. That's good, except not enough. And that's another 100. Oh, this just fits so perfectly. Uh, or does it? Yeah, it, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Because it... I could also just hide it in here, just to make it really fancy. Here. Yes, that is well hidden and much more fun. And let's make sure that it's wired up. Wired up, everything is working. We are now generating... Oh, okay. That's a bit, a bit of a shame that this one needs its own. I think it's actually, this is too advanced or too fancy. Got it. And I think it works. Let's get this as our one unit. Kill the rest. Hmm, the middle one will be the difficult. Okay, I just have stored it. I'm going to put it into my blueprint book so that we all have it for later on. Now let's kill it and get our wonderful little car in here just to figure out where you want to be. No, 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 don't, don't keep running. There. Let's get a bit closer. I want to be exactly here. Yes. So they are now the same and I will take the middle one. 
This is really important that I hit exactly middle. This is exactly the middle. And I can then take this one out because this is going to have to be different. All right. And okay, you know what? All of this has to go. Because it's now coming in from the other side, so I mirror it. Those are the small things out there. Okay, that's interesting how I don't have any more. Hmm. I wonder if it can even be done. Can it? I think it can. Just has to be done differently. No, it still looks wrong. I know that it can be done, but this looks better. Otherwise, it's like uh, looking at it, it's like, oh, wait, it's the only one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I need. Should I be trying to be consistent? You're definitely going up here. That means in order to be logical, then... Oh, this is so easy. Look how easy it is. Ha! Sweet. It's wired up here. You're not wired up. There you are. This one should also be possible. And everything is wired up. Everything is working. What is not working though is the combination. I will take this into a block. Fortunately, it can't be exactly equal. I'll do my usual way of figuring out what is the middle here. Inbound, inbound, inbound. And now the irony of this is I am taking, this is going to be one belt. It's simply going to be one belt out. That's pretty crazy. One belt of sheet coils is all there is to it. We have water, we have everything. We do not have enough. Sweet, anything else missing? Nope, that's the only thing. Let's try it and see how this works. Exciting. Another cool setup. Something is working. Yes. It's going to take some time before it gets all the way down here. So that's at 160, so the next one should be the one filling up. Last one is still not getting anything, but it should be. Okay, this is now 160. Okay, more stuff is coming in. It just has to fill up from the start all the way up to 160 before the next one goes in. See, now this one starts. It's 70. There we go. This one is now almost. This is pretty close to working. This one's not. This one is all the way not. Why is nothing working here? Oh, we can fix this as well. Just make it a bit nicer. And that's just, again, another nice recipe that just absolutely works. Once these are stacked up fully, 
This is what we see now. Once I stack the fully, more will flow to the next one, and this one will gradually fill up while this out here is just struggling with everything. But in time, it will fill up all the way out to the other side. And I now have sheet cords. Let's hurry up and remove this because it looks so bad. We have sheet cords. Actually, this one should be converted into sheet coils. It's wonderful. That's very nice. And let's see if I can not break it. Now, the next one will be exactly the same just for steel. But the one difference is this one will be pretty much the same if we look at it. But there is an intermediate step below before. Let's have a look. Uh, steel. Steel, 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 steel. Where are you? There are different recipes for steel. Manganese and steel ingots. Steel and silicon. And raw steel. So we're going to use the silicon or... Oh, no, sorry, the manganese. That means first we need to convert into steel ingots. Why do I have these still on me? And it also... Does, wow, I have a lot of red quilts in here. So... Here, we are going to take steel. That takes 24 in and generates. So 24 ingots, that's six ingots per second. Or because of the crafting speed, it's nine ingots per second. So how many, how many times nine does it take to empty two belts? Six. We found out that out that that is twenty-seven, which is pretty much the same as a belt, and that's twenty-seven, pretty much the same as a belt. So this will yield that gives us now the ingots, and the ingots will then be combined with here. Also need some oxygen, but that's again pretty easy to make because the oxygen we have this beautiful thing. So we are starting to be able to re to repurpose or at least uh, cover some things here we have before. I think we're going to go... Let's build it down here. And then each of the machines can be much closer. Need to make sure you go just stay straight up while the iron needs to be consumed. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how much is that generating? That's generating that's generating one if it won two red belts. Two red belts is the same as four red belt four yellow belts. And it divides by four, so I get one yellow belt outbound here. Let's try to keep that in mind. That's going to be one yellow belt. One of them has to be near inserter. Oh, how I hate the fact that I'm not using loaders right now. I don't know why I'm not using loaders, but again, this one. What if I moved it over here? Wouldn't that that would hopefully not wreck everything because then I can move this entire thing a bit down. Got it. Kill it. And get my train or my big builder. You want it to be exactly like, exactly here. There we go. Because then I can do that part. Where are the blueprints? And why am I doing this manually? I don't know, but I like it. Guess we are missing one, two, one, two. Okay, that's enough. Once I have it, I can put it in here. Okay. We are now needing some... Hmm.
Oh, I wish I could just drag it straight through, but nope. This is not going to end well because it... Uh I think that's a bit overkill, but I think it works. Now just check, you're consuming six per second times one and a half, that's nine per second. So nine, 27, that's more than one red belt, yes. Or alternatively, why don't we just do it less stupid? Thank you. We'll make it less stupid. There. And we can always just take a single one here just to make sure that it balances out. Cool. Works much nicer. And unfortunately that requires... Oh, these are actually not even requiring any power. What? No medium power balls? Oh, this is horrible. I, I'm sorry to say, but I don't like it. I don't like having things here. I have the option of using... Using loaders and use the damn loaders. Much nicer. There, that'll work if and only if and why did I not do this properly? All right, we are gonna take at this location some kind of fuel. No. Let's take some fuel. That's again, totally horrible build. Not a particularly nice build. And they are going in here. And then we have, we have all of this. All we need is the Coke, where's the Coke? This is Coke, I'm gonna use the Coke as my fuel, just generally speaking, here we are. And let's see if that works. Uh, until they are fully saturated, great. And this one, this is now one yellow belt. If I look at, this one was consuming nine. So I actually need three of these and... Oops, 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 oops. Very many strange things. This one. Should I take this or should I just... No, I need to do it something different. So the question is, do I have enough? No, I don't have enough. Do I have enough steel? Get some more steel because I'm going to need, oh no, clay bricks. Damn it, it's always clay bricks. All right, we'll see what we can do. Let's see. This one could just be here. One, two, three. Steel is... Steel is here. It's consuming three and a half. Yeah, three and a half steel. No, four and a half steel. Four, that's 13 and a half. That's exactly what I need. Exactly one, one belt. Excellent. And then I'll need basically this one.
steel too. Beautiful. This is pretty amazing, I think. I like this a lot. And now the one problem is how many do I have? I don't know how many I have. Ugh, definitely not enough. That's it. Two. All right, let's try drawing it anyway. So for each of these, I need four or five. This is too much, then I'll need how much less. So 18 is equal to four. Each one is equal to four and a half. I need 13 and a half. One, two, three, four, six, 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is what I need. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna build. I'm going to finish this build between sessions because we, at this point, we know exactly what it's going to look like. It's simply just a matter of getting the enough materials here. But it will generate how much steel plates. It's a bit of a shame that I can't get the steel plates really just up and running here, but we'll get it uh, next time. Or next time we'll start by looking at it. Let's at least wire this one up. Seeing that it flows in and up steel sheet coils and there's actually also some anything else missing Ugh, still they're here okay so the last thing you will need is it, is it working no it's not working why is it not working Because this is the wrong recipe. There. We at least want to see it working for the few things that... There we go. We can now safely say that we have... Yay! Hmm. Okay, we are going to stop here. So we now built, let's have a look at from the map view, a very nice, very big iron production facility. What do we have? We have now 46,000 and you can see here how well they scale because they will now be able to actually contain more than 600,000 iron in a single chest. So don't run this over with your crawler. And over here, likewise, this will also be able to have like a crazy amount. So we're going to wrap it up here. Next time I will have built this, but I don't want to go back and grab more. What are we, are we getting? It's clay bricks we need. And that gives us steel and iron in very large, very nice industrial quantities. And we're going to have to figure out what we do about our residual uh, manganese because we're getting more manganese than we can use. So that's a question for another day. Thank you very much for joining. Be sure to uh, like it if you like it and subscribe if you feel that this is something you want to come back to another time. So thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.